Do you have problems with your starter on your pre-2017 KTM 300? Well, if you're like most people, the answer is probably yes. And there's a lot of reasons for that, but the, uh, the basic is that the starter was a retrofit and it doesn't really work very well. So there, I've seen all kinds of solutions like replacing the, the Bendix or the uh, crown wheel, replacing the bushings. I've tried all those things, they never worked. Uh, I have a solution that seems to work every single time, and that is a 24 volt starting system, which I will describe in detail in a moment. This is a 2013 KTM 300 XCW, and it's got the dreaded slow cranking, uh, which I'm sure many of you all have experienced. Uh, I just put a brand new 8-cell anti-gravity battery in here, and it's uh, it's current. I just fully fully charged it, and it's got um, uh, let's see 13.63 volts. So it's a fully charged, brand new battery, and we'll see what happens when we try to start using it. We'll go ahead and hit the starter on this thing. Now the parts needed to make this into a 24 volt starting system is uh, very short. As you can see, um, I have a four cell anti-gravity 401 uh, lightweight lithium battery. Uh, really only need one of these eight gauge cables. And then the two little uh, remote charging uh, cables make it very, very handy as well. And uh, the reason for that is that um, this um, four cell battery, you'll have to charge manually. It will not be charged by the charging system on the bike. I should mention that the, uh, the total cost in parts to do this is only about 150 bucks. Uh, the biggest cost is the battery. That's probably about 110 to 115 bucks. You can get them at Rocky Mountain ATV. Um, these uh, they're supposed to be a foot, but they look a little shorter than that. These eight gauge um, battery cables were about 15 bucks for the pair. And these uh, these charger remote charger ones, they're, it's about eight or nine dollars for one, but you can get five for 15 bucks. So you know, that's kind of a no brainer. Um, so my uh, my suggestion is just to to source these parts and get started. So the first thing you need to do is to remove the, the side panel, or actually take the seat off first, obviously, which already has is, is been, been removed, and take off the side panel. And this side panel comes off just with no tools, just pops right off. And if you look right down in there, we can see the uh, starter solenoid for this bike. And we'll see if we can move this a little bit out of the way, get a better view of it right there. Okay, that's your starter solenoid, and that red, large, uh, probably about eight gauge cable, loops up and comes right to the, the positive connector. Here on the eight cell battery. On the other side of the starter solenoid is the cable that goes directly to the starter. All right, it's going to transfer the energy uh, right out of the battery across that solenoid. And through this cable right here, it's a it's a large cable, and it comes up, runs runs along, uh, and it eventually goes right down to the starter right there. And so the other end of this cable from the starter is plugged into the solenoid right here, and we're going to make a couple changes to convert this. So the starter solenoid is right here, and you can see there's the two slots either side that's just rubber. It's a sleeve and it fits over uh, these, these two prongs right here. So that's all it takes to remove it, which I just did. And note that on the bottom side is where the, uh, the connectors are. And I just turned this uh, over upside down. You can see that right here's the cable that goes uh, to the battery. On the other side is the cable that goes directly to the starter. And the solenoid makes that connection between those two. All right, the next step in the conversion to a 24 volt starter is I have removed the cable uh, that goes to the, the starter itself and I attached a different cable right here and this red wire goes up to the uh, negative terminal on my auxiliary battery. This is the uh, four cell lithium battery. And the cable that used to go uh, to the starter side of the starter solenoid is now connected to the positive terminal. So you will only get 
the 24 volts when the starter solenoid is engaged. So the next step is we're going to test the 24 volt starting system. So I've opened up the garage just to get a little bit more uh, air and don't fumigate myself. So this is what we had just done. And we'll go up and hit the starter button. Let's see if we hear a difference in the cranking uh, speed. Well, as you can see, the thing started immediately, um, and it cranks very, very quickly. This, this is the solution to the problem, and it's a whole lot cheaper than replacing the Bendix and the uh, crown wheel and all the other uh, different things that I've seen suggested before. So now the next thing to do is to get everything tucked back in and back in place uh, so we can get the seat back on. It's worth mentioning that everything that I've done to this point has been on the starter side of the starter solenoid. So I've taken off the, the, uh, the cable from here, attached this one that goes to the negative terminal um, on my, my four cell, and then I connected the cable that goes directly to the starter. This way, only when the starter solenoid has made its connection am I getting 24 volts to the, the starter and the entire system. Um, if you uh, if you get confused and you disconnect any of the terminals from the main battery, you could inadvertently um, hook in a series of the batteries and put 24 volts to your system, which will severely damage all of your electronics. So don't make that mistake. So to just to uh, reiterate, you only are are making changes from the the starter side of the starter solenoid and nowhere else. Uh, and uh, now we need to get this thing cleaned up and we need to get our uh, individual um, charging cables because you'll have to have two separate um, remote charging cables. The, the uh, small um, four cell battery won't charge from the charging system of the motorcycle. Okay, I've got my four cell battery located in the air box right next to the air filter. I'm just simply going to zip tie it to the frame. Uh, from the uh, starter side of the starter relay, that lead uh, I've mounted and, and connected uh, to the negative side of the four cell. And then the lead that goes directly to the starter is here on the positive side, thus giving us 24 volts when we hit the starter. As a demonstration of how fast it cranks at 24 volts, because when I did it before, it just started it up immediately, I've disconnected uh, the spark plug just so you can hear how fast this thing actually cranks as compared to what it was doing before. So if you pay attention, that is fast. Here I've replaced the lithium battery with a lead acid battery because it just didn't need all the extra power of the lithium battery. And I've installed the charging pigtails just for convenience. Uh, the primary battery, I have uh, the connector out the back of the rear of the seat and the secondary I, I have just down here and, and I have it marked with some white duct tape just so it's you know they won't make a mistake so uh, just to reiterate again that you do have to charge this battery because uh, it will not be charged by the charging system if this video was helpful to you please hit like and subscribe and I'll continue to add content when time permits thank you again for watching